like I say, at one point in time, I was exiled from humanity. Like I said, I kicked out um, Papa, or that black piece of shit that was running around slapping girls. Like I said, uh, well, realistically, the Irish had come to me and said, blah, blah, about this, about this black guy slapping around people and, and, and doing raids on factories. You know, they would just, the black people would just go in there and kill all the people at the factory and then hire on new people or force new people to work for them. So, anyway, the Irish people told me about it, and I was like, yeah, do, do something about it. Yeah, kick them out. Kick them out of all, uh, of all my cities. I don't want them in my cities. I don't want his people in my cities. So the Irish just kicked them all out. You know, him and all his people. You know, we used to drop people off on islands if they became that big of a problem. We'd been like, stay here, don't leave. You know, you're not welcome in civilization anymore. If you want to kill your own people and, and do your own stupid shit on this island, then fine. But you're not going to do it around the, around the rest of us that want to just live a good life and, you know, be a part of civilization. So, anyway, so a lot of people were kicked out and moved to islands. That was one of my things. <laughs> Drop people off on an island. Eventually they would get picked back up, but it's, you know, it's an easier way, you know, than jail. So anyway, um, basically I kicked out Papa or whatever, and so he wanted to tear it all down. A plague onto the world! A plague onto the world! I gotta tear it down! <laughs> the old man. I can laugh about it now, um, but um, yeah, I guess I was Papa's. Papa's gang was 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 running the Bloods and the Crips or something, some sort of the higher thing, shit, and run, trying to control the, the black race, the black 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 people, all throughout the world or whatever. So, please, this world. Eventually, yeah, he did carpet bomb and did uh, did nuke quite a few cities or something like that. So that's why in, the, in that little thing about the bomb, you know, you see the ring, and he's waving to me. Um, anyway, though, he was one of the people also that, um, that, uh, yeah, he bribed a bunch of people and, and basically spent all your drug money. All, you know, while you didn't have clothes and you were starving, you were just paying into the money. He was bribing people, trying to get aircraft and bombers and to, to, to go to start bombing cities. So, anyway, a plague on this world. He did it when it was like 40 or 50 or 60 or something like that. So, a plague on this world. <laughs> now he's 80 or 90 years old. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, so, and he was supporting JFK, Nixon, basically, or something like that, and vice versa. So, anyway, they're gone. Whatever. Um, so, uh, what, was, what was I saying? Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> it always makes me laugh. A plague on this world. A plague on this world. <laughs> I wonder what happened to him. Oh, well, that's right. So I kicked him out of Warsaw and three of the other cities, and that's why the black people were bombing, or the people were bombing Warsaw and those other cities in Europe, because I had kicked him out. Because you know he was he was being a problem. You know he was uh, like I said, they were just going in and basically going into the factories and just shooting everyone and killing everyone and trying to say they owned the place or something like that, and they were killing my Irish workers. So, so. I had the, you know, I had the Irish people train a team of, of people and go after them. It's like I'm not just gonna have my, I'm not just, I'm not just gonna sit by and I wasn't just gonna sit by and and watch while while my Irish people died, or my good workers at, at the LS shipyards and my factories died like that. <laughs> like that ain't happening. So we spent money and I think I might have called in the uh, on called in the Germans to help them out, to give them guns or whatever, so, or whatever, toy makers or whatever. Anyway, some of my Germans were like, we're just toy makers, like, you can make a gun, I have faith in you, so, whatever. And like I say, you know, a lot of people be like, top secret, it's like, it's not top secret, it's me. You know, I, I protect my, my, my workers and my people. So, and no, they're not terrorists. <laughs> and I think the Irish were, were saying that too. Everyone's calling us terrorists, but we're not terrorists, we're just protecting ourselves. Like, yeah, you were. So, I can verify and back you up on that. You know, you're being attacked. So, anyway, and like I said, I ordered Germans and other people to give you weapons so you can defend yourselves. And that's fair. So, anyway. So, anyway, um, because a plague onto this world <laughs> was around, I guess. The Black Plague or whatever. Some old guy. Um... I think the Irish people were like, blah, blah, and they might have even asked, and I said, well, this guy used to wear a fur coat, used to walk around, and, like, the Irish people were like, oh, yeah, we know the guy. 
but yeah. Uh, later on, he was trying to say, trying to reinforce the Ford Motor Car Company lie. It's like, ugh, what a pain. Trying to say that he owned Bentley or something like that. It's like, no, you don't own Bentley. Bentley is for Brian B. Like B's and L's. Those are my things. L things and B's, basically. Like the Britannic, like the Lusitania. Technically, the Titanic wasn't really my ship, but kind of my. It was built in my shipyard, though, so still LS. So one of my or built like my my great ships. A lot of people could see my great ships and order one them, th th themselves if they could pay for it or whatever. So I mean, what? I'm a seller of trade goods and and steamships and and um, and and on other things. So I sell us old airplanes and aircraft. Kept the best for ourselves, of course, but still. That's why I think I was German, Ireland, Britain, England, and China. So I think I was that group. So, And somewhat Mexico, because Mexico loved me. So, And I love them too. <laughs> I love Puna Violina or whatever. She was like, the mint smell! <laughs> she would, she'd complain to me about the mint and stuff like that. <laughs> she like like he smells but but I love him to death or something like that. I love him so Yeah, whatever, you know, she was she was a normal person, so I liked her. I was saying, well we talked for a little bit, so some point in time. Uh she was good. A lot of my people loved me. Like I said, I had a whole house built for her. And um and for and, and had new new tables, new new cabinets. Her house had cabinets tables, um, a kitchen, everything like, you know, it was just like <laughs> instant civilization. And I was like, you're welcome. That's what I can do. I had very, a very, 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 very good team. I had a lot of really good people. There were experts at building. So anyway, that's why, that's why England calls themselves civilization builders. It's my old group. It's like, it's White Star Line. You know, I had, I had British, I had Germans, I had, you know, even Japanese, Chinese, and, um, and even Indians, uh, you know, in that India. Well, and the other, you know, <laughs> I had everyone basically, you know, we paid, you know, I paid money. So, very rich man. So anyway, anyway, so that, this is me. Like I, like I told him, technically I'm retired. So, and on vacation. I'm supposed to be enjoying my life, living on my rich dividends. My justly, you know, like I said, I, I invented and invested heavily in steam power and hydropower. And like I said, a lot of people were trying to trump me with with nuclear power, and I was warning. I was warning caution. You know, you know, nuclear power and drugs are, are and even makeup are, are the two things that you don't really want to jump into. You know, you'll you'll get your own people killed. So. So anyway, so yeah, and um, technically I've had nuclear power since year 1200, so anyway, I might have learned the hard way too to some extent, but I doubt it. I probably was cleaning up the mess, you know, of someone else's rushed attempts to get nuclear power. Like I tell a lot of people, don't rush. You want to use cameras, you want to use cables, you want to use leaded glass you want to you know it even affects the camera even behind leaded glass it'll it, it'll it'll ruin the cameras you have to change out the cameras like it's a nuclear energy is one of those things it's a bitch to work with but you know it can, it can be it can be useful and profitable and and even a good and even very a really awesome thing if you do it right if you do it wrong it's going to make a mess and you're going to be you know your name's going to be that name that that, that 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 everyone knows as the one who destroyed a whole country you know, that's why I say I mean I was um, you know test 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 reach out recheck your facts recheck your numbers make sure because if you fuck it up you know you're gonna be regretting it for a very long time so anyway but and, and I don't think my people had any problem with it at all my German like that's why I say you know you know they were trying to kill off my German scientists or do something with my it's like no 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 
No, no, those are the best in the world. Anyway, I love them. And they didn't particularly agree with the, with, with the political climate or the, or the government in, in Germany either. And so Germany was doing some things that they didn't agree with. And I didn't agree with either. So Anyway, I don't know. You know, politics, whatever. Realistically, it wasn't politics. It's a couple of people trying to go, ah! It's like, damn! That's why you're never going to live 100 trillion years or 99 trillion years. I mean, all these things are, re are the reasons why I lived 100 trillion years. So, anyway. I was just doing my thing. So, anyway. But, yeah, you know, big epic ships, sailing ships that would cross the, cross the ocean for free. And they had steam power because sometimes the ships would get stuck. Sometimes if the wind died down or something like that. And then they would just fire up the burners and... And so, like, so, so, like I say, people are going back and finding my ships and going, oh. it's like, yep, I've been around a long time. Plan to be around a lot longer, but oh well. We'll see. So. Yeah, massively loved. So. Anyway, that's why I say Rosella, um, or La, L-U. Her name is actually L-U. My first two letters. My name. I loved her so much and she was such a good secretary and person that I I think I my nickname for her was L U. So like love you. Stuff like that. My name is pretty versatile, isn't it? Lucifer. Star. So anyway. Like I said, um, love, desire, emotions, caring, all that. Peace, freedom, honor. Leave no one behind, you know, protecting your family and people. You know, everything. That's why I was the decider of the universe. I set the tone for what is life and the universe. So, that's what I did. Just that. <laughs> I would say, oh, just, he just set the, set the tone for, for all life in the universe. That's all. So, yeah, well, that's me. <laughs>